Hey guys, it's Billy Mae Jackson here and today I watched a very, very insightful documentary about Britney Spears, um, which was um, very, very upsetting, I would like to say, in some cases. It's about what she's been going through lately, or, or should I say, more more of what she's been you know getting you know more of she you know she's been trying to get out of mm, and you know what she's been in mm. i am saying mm, because i don't know if i can say the word otherwise youtube might take it down but i watched the documentary today and I thought it was better than the Framing Britney um, Framing Britney Spears doc documentary because um, you know it just gave more insight to where like to like what you know she's suffering through and what she was going through I mean what she went through was horrendous like when she had that like when she had like that when she went through that very upsetting stage in her life in like 2008 it was very very upsetting and stuff like the just the fact that they took her kids away was like really really upsetting like i think their names are um, Sean Preston and Jaden, you know, Summit Jaden, you know, Sean and Jaden. I'll just stick with first names. But it was really upsetting because, and I should imagine for you, Britney fans, you know, it's very upsetting for you. But I would just like to say this to all you lovely fans of Britney that I think you've done a very very incredible job with finding out a lot of this information and you know I think it's been very very um it's been very very you know insightful and I think Britney would be very proud of you all like I would just like to say as well like that I used to like Britney Spears as like some of her music but I'm not a mega mega fan you know I you know it's so you know it's tragic though what happened to her and I just think you know I you know I think and I also think there's a lot of murky water surrounding the Mm -hmm. that we that we you know around the um the thing that she was put into which um is very very like it was very very upsetting and it was like it's devastating like i just think like she deserves better like I watched that documentary and it was so like heartbreaking because like do you guys remember that for the record thing the documentary she did like where she's sitting there and I think she was like sitting somewhere she was on her photo shoot and she was like I'm sad and like stuff like she was like really really sad like I think Jay you know i know i shouldn't really say this on like youtube because it will probably get me taken off but i think jay i think britney spears's father is a bit of a is a bit of a silly person really with what he's done you know and I think he was quite crafty in the fact that he took her, that he used, that he, 
used that he like used her money for his own financial gain i mean how you know i i just think this whole conservatorship thing is so sad because like you know i just hope she has a really really positive life and i don't want to upset you you britney fans when i say this but I think, you know, I think Britney deserves to retire after like, what, after like what she's been through. And I hope you guys, you know, if you don't agree with me, that's fine. But please, please, can I just say to you, do not leave any nasty comments on my channel. And it's, you know, because, you know, that will really break my heart. And I also want you to remember, these are just my opinions. And we must remember that this, um, this channel or my YouTube channel is about the truth, nothing but the truth and the whole truth. Um, and also, you know, you know, I just want to be honest with people and be frank and, you know, I... The last thing I would want to do in this video is upset any of the Spears family. You know, Lynn, Jamie, ja Lynn, Jamie, Jamie, Lynn and Jamie. The last thing I would want to do is upset you all. So please be aware that these are just my opinions and... I should be allowed to express my opinions freely also another subject of today I was gonna bring up was and I'll save this for you know and I'll talk about this person a little bit now or these two people I should rather say I would like to say my thoughts on the um, Michael Jackson and Drake conundrum which is going on right now. Um, basically, before I say any of my opinions, I would just like to say that these are these are once again my opinions they're not meant to discredit any michael jackson fans or any drake fans if you ta if you choose to take this personally i don't know what to say because i'm a very truthful person so please please bear that in mind when you're commenting you don't say anything nasty there's a very very good saying if you can't say anything nice don't say anything at all and um, so basically my opinions are that i think michael jackson is the better performer um out of drake number one because he was the undisputed king of pop and drake by the way i think you're all right mate you're a very good person you seem like a nice person you know you've got some banging tunes and um i think your music you know is very you know i like your songs such as nice for what you know god's plan you know i like some of them but i would unfortunately have to say that michael jackson reigned supreme in this race because he is the undisputed undis king of pop um you know he said he sold over 750 million albums for thriller and also you know also he made 
legendary music videos such as Thriller Remember the Time and stuff so but I will basically get on like to Michael Jackson uh, in another video you know Michael Jackson's for another time I mean I could talk about him all day you know I've got a very special place in my heart for that man which you will find out if only the 10 of you which are my uh, lovely subscribers will want to see I, I will gladly do that for you I remember this man with the surname Gun I think his name you know I can't remember his you know his first name but I think his surname was Gun I remember you you saying that you, that what I would marry Justin Bieber and you know but you said I would settle for Michael Jackson so if you lot ask for a Michael Jackson video I will give you a Michael Jackson video video it may be interlinked with another topic I don't know um I would just like to say to you again sorry if I ramble and these are just my opinions you know I don't know what you know, I'm relatively new to YouTube, so I don't really know what I'm not allowed to say. But I think with the Britney conservatorship thing, I should be fine, you know. I don't really know a lot about Britney, so this is, you know, I'm not one of these big informed, like, fanatics of, like, you know, like, later pop music. Of course, if you asked me about Michael Jackson, it would be a different story. But anyway, that's for another video. Bye, guys. Bye. Remember to comment, like, and sub. Hang on, sorry. Um, remember to comment, like, and subscribe and subscribe i thank you for watching this video today as always please do not get offended by any of the topics i talk about um you know please be you know please be open-minded that i'm a very outspoken young lady so i will say what i feel and to the michael jackson and Drake stands, please don't come for me. And also, please don't come for me, you know, Britney Spears, because I'm only talking about you. I'm not using any of your songs in my music videos. I've just, I'm just talking about what I've done today, you know, where I'm, you know, where I, you know, what I've done, where, you know, I haven't been anywhere but I'm just talking about what I've seen and these are only my opinions okay remember to like comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell bye everyone bye